Hi, I'm Laura Purdy Salas, and I am a children's writer and poet. Today I'm going to read you Secrets of the Loon. I'm going to read you the rhyming story, and there's also additional back matter, factual back matter, written by Chuck Dayton, and he is who took the fabulous photos for this book as well. My name is Chuck Dayton. I am a retired environmental lawyer, and for the past uh, 63 summers, I've spent a lot of time on a small lake about three miles south of the Canadian border near Ely, Minnesota. And on this little lake, we've come to love the loon family that almost always has a nest and a couple of chicks on the lake. And I started taking photographs of the loons and the chicks uh, about six years ago. And after two summers of doing this, I began to wonder, what am I going to do with all these great pictures? So I put together a children's book with some help from Consi Powell, who's a local artist and writer in Ely, and submitted it for publication. And fortunately, the Minnesota Historical Society came up with an author of many children's books who took the story and rewrote it in beautiful poetry. Um, and, and we added a factual discussion at the end called Back Matter where we talk about moon biology and their life patterns. Uh, the book follows a chick through its first summer, learning all the skills and secrets necessary for its own survival. And uh, for children, uh, it deals with questions like, how do you learn new skills? How do you avoid danger? How do you achieve independence from your parents? Uh, it's because the little loon has to do all this before it can fly all by itself from Minnesota to the Gulf of Mexico. Secrets of the Loon Below white pines at water's edge In guarded nest of mud and sedge Squeezed inside an olive egg Bill meets wing meets folded leg. High overhead hangs a dawdling moon. Then, pep, pep, wiggle, a brand new loon. She's straggly and wet. Soon the sun dries her coat. She plops into water. Splash! Fear grips her throat. Then the lake sings its secret. Moon Loon, you can float. Fish flip-flop and wriggle. Loons shake first, then eat. Moon's father gives demos. Shake, swallow, repeat. Moon gobbles up minnows and crayfish. Delicious. But an old turtle lurks, its jaws strong and vicious. Moon Loon rides on Mother, side by side with her brother. Perched safely in feathers on Mama's broad back, they rest out of reach of a snapper attack. Summer wears sunshine or fog soft and gray and skips by so quickly while moon grows each day. Eventually, father's back runs out of space, so the chicks each tuck under a one-wing embrace. Lake wrinkles and twinkles below shimmering skies, but danger flies over with sharp, hungry eyes. Mother's wild call, its rise and its fall, warns Moon of the eagle. Can Moon Loon survive? Her heavy bones whisper, Moon Loon, you can dive. Moon dives underwater. She glides fast and sleek, escapes the bald eagle's talons and beak. 
cleaning and preening, Moon masters each skill. She can catch her own dinner. She fills her own bill. Moon's learning loon music. Mama's wail soars, haunting, like the howl of the wolf, full of searching, of wanting. One morning, two humans, could they mean harm? Venture closer and closer. Father sounds the alarm. His feet churn the water. He rises upright. He calls sharp and urgent, ready to fight. After father's aggressive and noisy display, the humans quietly paddle away. More lessons from mother. Flap, flap, moon loon, try. But a loon's built for water. Leave the lake? Why? These rocky shores with trees tipped in gold. These ripples and currents fishy and cold. This dazzling sky, a vivid blue dome. This spruce-scented bay offers comfort. It's home. But early each morning, Moon Loon flaps and fails. Her narrow wings slap like weary ship sails. Then one day, she launches herself into sky. Her wing feathers murmur, Moon Loon, you can fly. Wind whistles Moon's wings. She is almost full grown. Soon her parents leave Moon and her brother all alone. The leaves flutter down, fall stamps them with frost. Moon knows why she's going. Moon knows she's not lost. She'll fly through the breeze to warm, salty seas. She'll stay one, two, three winters where the ocean won't freeze. Every secret moon needs, she carries inside. And one late autumn morning, moon spreads her wings wide. And that's the end of Moonland's story, though there's lots more to learn in the back matter. I hope you enjoyed watching and listening, and thanks for being here. <laughs>